what are you allowed to talk about for this next season? It's crazy. Well, we made a season three. Yeah. <laughs> and we were both in it. We were both, we're both in it. How, we can't say, but we were there. Uh, we can talk about some things. Uh, when I started watching the series, I, I started kind of wondering, hey, is Felix actually someone in disguise? He uh, wolf in sheep's clothing. Mm. Now, going into the third series, is that something that we actually have to worry about, or is Felix really on... If it is something to worry about, I'm not aware of it. But at the same time, we've also had many conversations where if one of us does turn out to be, a, I love that expression, a wolf in sheep's clothing, um, we don't want to know. I wouldn't want to know because then it would end up affecting how I'm... I would love the idea of having that revelation come later and getting to go back and, and say, oh my God, and he was, he was pretending this entire time. I don't want to... I don't want to say that's happening. I have no idea. As far as I know, that's not happening. But, um, you know, it's Orphan Black, anything. I didn't think we were going to have male clones at the end of season two either. Yeah, exactly. then that happened. Yeah. yeah. So. Are we going to find out anything about where your allegiances lie at all during this next season? Is it going to be... Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I think that her... I think that she always makes decisions from a really strong point she doesn't you know she doesn't make them um without really without really thinking them through but she she does feel that sometimes the end justifies the means and uh she's always done them from a place of protecting her family initially but the family itself has changed so much and and some of the decisions maybe were not the best ones i think you get to see an, another side of her which is that you get to see her be a bit vulnerable you haven't seen that before you get to see her you know she's she's nurturing or she's tough or she's certainly badass she's certainly able to wield a weapon and protect people but i think you get to see her um doubt herself or question question herself is better i think um and i think that's really i think that's really interesting as well another another interesting part to a complicated person that they do it's not all lighter shade or or action or or uh, it, it, that there's doubt as well so it's yeah it was great i love that theme too with her the idea of it's not always what she does and how she operates isn't always necessarily moral but she's always trying to do the right thing yeah <laughs> trying with for you know the right thing for who we're not entirely sure but <laughs> so what do you know about Mr. S and like with her children because she's so fiercely maternal and like that's drive a lot of her big kick ass nature because she's so fierce about her family but what about her own kids does she ever try to have them do you know any of that I, I can tell you that you will learn more about Mr. S in season three yeah um, some more parts of um, how they got to where they are some more parts of the backstory are explained and, and, and looked at a little bit um, I think that's really interesting as well sometimes it's hard to understand why a person is or acts the way they are but if you can have a look at where they've come from or some of the things that have been around the way that they're formed um, it's it, their behavior becomes so much more understandable doesn't it um, you know immediately it's just you can relate to their experiences we do get to see some more of that it's yeah it's great is there an aspect of her that you really enjoy playing? Do you like the badass? Do you like this new vulnerability? What is it that you like the most? I just like that she's, she seems like a real person. She seems like she's complicated. She seems like she doesn't always get it right. Uh, I think that's one of the great, one of her great strengths. That, um, she, you know, she, she, will, she will try, she will take on anything. Um, she's not a... She's not a um, not that she's not afraid, but she's most certainly not a quitter. You know, she's a survivor. I, I find that just really interesting that she, and that's probably our greatest quality as human beings, that, that we can survive because we adapt and react to what's around us mm -hmm. so quickly and so instinctively. Uh, so I think it's amazing just to see it, that she, she gets through, that you somehow, you're, not, you're, never, you're not sure whether you love her or you hate her sometimes because what she does is it's it's not it's not always good you know it's it's not always bad either but it's not always good but i also think it's good to see that she's she's not always right even the stuff the bad stuff 
can actually be bad sometimes. It's it's interesting. Can you tell us um, how your both your relationship would be with each other since the whole dynamics have changed from the first season with everything that happened, second season everything that happened. Well, because you guys were fostered, like well, he was the foster mom. And, yes. Um, will there be a big change here in this third season? Will we see your relationship better, get, like change just differently? Deepens. Yeah. The relationship deepens. I don't know if better or worse. It just is it. It's an entirely new shade that we haven't seen yet. Um, the complexities of the world, I think, have grown beyond any 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 singular management. Like Sarah can't handle what's happening with Lita and Castor and Dyad and and everything. She can't handle that on her own. I think there's a lot more. Um, there's more reliance on each other. Yeah. No one's really taking care of everyone. Everyone's sort of taking care of each other. And that was so great, so great to explore. Um, to have scenes where, you know, like you've been talking about, there's been growth from growth in Felix, growth in S, and, and that she's seeing her, her kids not really as children anymore, but as autonomous adults. Yeah, I think that's part of the part of. of, of also doubting her herself is uh, not doubting herself but but realizing that um it's not just her making decisions for small children who are un unable really to contribute to those decisions because they're so huge and so enormous and and their their um their lives depend on the decisions now she has two she has to recognize and does i think that there are two adults and they need mm -hmm. to be part of making the decisions upon which all of their lives depend so I think she's trying to adjust to that and, and trust them. But also, I think, because we, we know each other better. I mean, it's just a very small example, but in terms of our physicality, we had one kind of sort of tender moment and um, in a scene. And without even thinking about it, I reached out and I, and I grabbed Jordan's face. And I, I kind of grabbed his nose and touched his face. And just because we know each other so well now, I would be very comfortable to do that without saying to him beforehand, do you mind if you're in the same way? You know, so more, I think, more... More play. More play more and more natural yeah. Yeah, things like that are come just because we all know each other better uh, as real people yeah. as well as the characters. Yeah. Along the same line, obviously at the end of last season, Mrs. S really betrayed Sarah and everything that happened with Helena. Yeah. How is that going to play out and how is Felix going to be kind of a middleman? Because I can't imagine, well, we've seen that, so, but we know Sarah is not going to react very well to that. <laughs> well, I think she, she certainly isn't going to react well and I think that I, I knew that she wouldn't as I, as I was doing it but again I, I, I felt that I had to do something to save her and Kira and, and this was my bargaining tool and even though it was another person I it was somebody I didn't care about as much and that I felt I really could buy them some safety um, and I think also at the time I very much knew that I was putting Felix in the middle of that that he would be somehow he would understand why I had done it much more quickly than Sarah would it's not his sibling, after all, directly. Helena isn't. But um, I, I somehow knew I, w I was, I was going to put him in the middle. So. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, dear. That was, I'm sorry. I rambled like mad there on the end. I'm sorry.